Okay. Hey, um, so before we can do some calibration of the throttle to make sure it works um, in conjunction with the, the inverter. So, um, as I said before, coding's not quite my thing, but there's been uh, one of the guys in the forum has managed to just give us a bit of an idea of how to calibrate it. So, come down here. So, he's actually given a good step through section by section of how to do that. So, at the moment, I've just got this set up with the pedal um, being powered by the USB through the, the board. I've just got the um, the car side of the uh, the plug in here. So from here then we're going to be we're feeding the pedal the um, 5 volts and we'll be able to feed back through the um, throttle sensor and we'll be able to see what we are actually getting. So the moment I have changed some of the text in here as described and uh, it's done compiling I'm just going to load this up to the um, board now you can see 73 so when I press the throttle pedal it goes all the way up to 359 pretty much 359 back down to 73. Now what I'm going to do is, as you're watching that, I'm actually going to change the um, the throttle output. So I'm going to put in the other channel while that's live there. I'm going to swap over channel 1, channel 2. I wonder if that stays live. Yeah, there you go. So it's at 35. So again, I'm going to go pedal all the way down and that brings us up to 150 okay so that's good good news so I've taken um, my values that are recorded there pretty much gone channel 1 is 35 to 150 channel 2 74 to 358 so going on what Damien had done before I know it'll probably take a bit of tweaking but I've kind of just I'm gonna go with channel 2 here it's going to go 85 to 330. That's all in there. I'm going to go through a CPU reset. It's back flashing away. What we do is I'm going to um, yeah, connect everything up. I'm just going to leave it on the channel 2 and uh, let's just see what happens. Okay, here we go. Attempt number 30 something. Um, Earlier on, I did some testing because I realized that I wasn't getting the 5 volts to power the board um, unless I had USB in or I was giving it via externally here. But that's not the case. You shouldn't be doing that because this 5 volts here it actually is external. It's sent, being sent from the board as it's like there that they that's uh, ground and 5 volts for something else to be added into the system. Um, so yeah, so <clears throat> to figure out why, why we weren't getting five volts uh, out of the, um, the, um, the regulator here. So what you have here is you had, um, this ground and 12 volts come in here. So what I did was I just basically kept, uh, lighting up the 12 and the ground here. And, uh, sorry, did I say that? Yeah. Ground and 12 volts. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, so we were getting to the, um, the step down regulator here, which that's what gives you your five volts. So a uh, closer inspection, you can see in the photograph that I'll put up here, there's actually a couple of dry joints here. So it, they look like they were um, touching the pad, but they weren't. You could actually lift them up. So I ran through, gave them all a solder, and as a result now we've got five volts going through through the rest of the board now so brings it up step down regulator five volts powers the board um at the moment then on the switched uh switch live for the inverter is there that's at zero volts there until this is our ignition basically so this is our ignition and it's going to light up the board the inverter i mean so there we go so we've got now there's our 12 volts so the board is live um okay so that's everything we've got all that connected up next thing to do is we add in the safety disconnect in here 
and we give it its uh, pre-charge. So that's pre-charge coming in to the board now. You can go full then, so that's got its full 220 volts. And basically that should be it. All you should do is press the throttle and it should do something, but obviously there's something not right. We um, got a, a message from one of the other guys on the forum, a bit of advice on um, what you call it, code. So he said, take a step back, look at the previous revision, make one or two changes. And I did that. And as soon as I, after I flashed the board to set it up, as soon as I put on the pre-charge, the motor started spinning. So, um, I've changed the throttle values back down, even though this was um, tweaked. Yeah, let's see what happens there. Connecting up inverter. Pre-charge. And it stops. Okay, okay, connect up, inverter, pre-charge, hmm, curious. Next one, we've chopped and changed a bit of the code, don't know what I'm doing really, but just change a bit of it around. So we flash the board again, and uh, just connecting it all up. So yeah, that's it. So safety disconnect back in. We're gonna light up the uh, the inverter board now, and pre-charge. Pre-charge on. Press pedal. I think we've done it. Oh, we didn't. Once he pushed it too far, so it did that initial spin. So, um, okay, so it reacted to the pedal. Good. Let's see if we can reset the board and get doing it again. Energizing board. Both boards. Ignition on. Precharge on. Pedal. Okay, so I tipped it there basically. So it's. It's like it's, it's at a set point. It's actually got like it's got a torque command up to a certain voltage and it's just held it there. Hey, come here. Okay. In frame? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So, everything's set up. Power in here. You can move back a bit. Gently, yeah. So I'm uh, energizing the boards, so 12 volts in. See the board here lighting up? So 12 volts, pre-charge, main, pedal. Ready? Wow. And then we can kill it. That didn't happen before, because then I gave it its full juice. In actually, what happened before was I had it on pre charge and it just went down and it actually just tripped. When I gave it the full 220 volts, it actually stays up that voltage. So it's a case of it stays there, but it doesn't come back down. So it's got its, got its torque commands going in. So thank you, Quiva, for taking this video. There you go. Told you I wouldn't disappoint you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah.
a lot of messing around as I said went back to previous revision I think the new firmware um, deal with switching on main contactor and stuff like that which I'll probably be able to wire in myself hopefully um, so that was all and I was also set to it was looking for a higher voltage it was looking for I think 360 volts which is what Damien has set up in his E46 so it was just <clears throat> kind of we need to drop that down the voltage what the, the um, inverter is looking for so because this is only 220 so it's a case of doing a few changes on the later firmware but at the moment we're running on the, the revision before and so far we can just do it. Switch this to channel one. I can't remember which one is which actually. I think that's just the lower voltage one. Do that again. It triggers a lower point. I mean, you still need to yeah, calibrate the throttle a bit, but. There you go. So, yeah, happy out. What do we do next? Spin it. Yeah.